Good morning, I have just finished packing because today we're going to be making our way to France for a press trip with Aston Martin and the brand new DB12. I cannot wait to get behind the wheel and just enjoy and explore that brand new cabin. It's going to be a very enjoyable trip. I think we've got some really nice restaurants booked. We're staying at an incredible hotel which I'll tell you more about later on in the video. But we're going to Cote d'Azur, I think that's how you say it, and it's my first time going. So I'm really looking forward to spending some time with the team, exploring the car, and also enjoying this incredible weather. It's gonna be 27 degrees when we're there, so it should be very, very nice. So let's hit the road. Hello and welcome. We've just checked into the Maybourne here in Cote d'Azur. We're actually staying, as I think I mentioned at the start of this video, because tomorrow we're going to be going on a drive with Aston Martin in the brand new DB12. This evening it's just welcome drinks and we're going to meet the team and the other guests. So that should be really lovely. That's going to take place in a few hours time. But I've just finished off getting unpacked. You know, it's my favorite thing to do when I arrive to any hotel is uh, get unpacked and steamed. So you can see the steam is down there. So that's all ready. And I thought I would quickly show you the room that I'm gonna be staying in whilst we're here over the next sort of 48 hours. So this, as you can see, is my bathroom and we have the his and her sink. And then through here, solid marble bath, absolutely incredible with floor to ceiling. Um, marble tiles which are just actually singular slabs very impressive must have been quite the job getting those in and then if we spin around into the bedroom we've got my bed and a little lounge area and some goodies that Aston have dropped off for us so we'll take a look in there in a second so we've got a Formula One hat a diary and we'll take a look and see what's going on there this is actually really cool so Aston Martin especially for this trip customized the room keys with Aston Martin leather bounded tags so that is how I'm getting in and out of my room whilst we're here and then if we quickly take a look outside you will see we have our lovely own terrace with a couple of sunbeds and a table and chairs but the creme de la creme we have these incredible views over the French Riviera and the sound of crickets which amongst my friends joke that that's what it sounds like in my head <laughs> wow look at this place let's take a look inside the bag Aston always do lovely gifts when you arrive. So we have the Aston Martin diary and pen, which I actually still use the diary from the trip that I went to Sardinia with Aston in uh, last year. And it's nice, it's just a plain diary, which I personally like because it means that I can just fill the page up with whatever I want. And then these are some headphones. Wow, they're serious. Okay. This is really cool. So Lydia and I actually have Bowie's and Wilkins speakers throughout the whole of our house. So the speakers that are integrated in our ceilings, they are all Bowie's and Wilkins. And Aston have very kindly gifted a pair of their over ears. What are they? So they're their PX8s, noise cancelling wireless headphones. So these are over ear wireless headphones. Incredible. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to uh, using those. Then, as I mentioned, we have the F1 hat, which Formula One is coming to Silverstone very, very soon. So I'm also looking forward to that because it's always a great time of year. I'm gonna get some swim shorts on and we're gonna head down to the pool and do a little bit of exploring of the hotel before the evening's drinks. I've just chucked on some items from a new brand. I've not had any pieces from them before. This is a Manaby white linen shirt. I like the little chest pocket on it. Nice little detail. And also these are their swim shorts, which I really like the print on. They kind of a little bit look like a chalk stripe, but if you look closely, you'll see the little triangles. Um, just nicely finished. And I've picked myself up some new Mocha Hermes sandals as well. So got the DBI wear. Paul Patel collection necklace somewhere. There she is. <laughs> so let's go and uh, enjoy the sun. Well, we're currently just chilling, enjoying the views from the pool. 
So this is Monaco over here, which is what we thought it was, but it was a bit confusing because we're not actually in Monaco. So we're just on the outskirts of it. You can see just down the bottom there, you've got the clay courts, which look really cool. And then in the distance, obviously the harbor, you can see the casino with the green roof um, just in the distance. It might be really hard on the video. I think the Monaco line kind of starts at the Monte Carlo Hotel, which is this hotel here. And then as we come around, I think we're out of Monaco. This is France, and then over in the distance, all the way over there, you'll see, I believe that's Italy. So it's um, got an amazing vista. It's looking really cool. You can see it's integrated into the cliff face, which is pretty special. Anyway, time has come to go back upstairs and get ready for this evening's dinner. Just finished off getting ready for this evening's welcome drinks and the look that I've decided to go with is a very casual, relaxed look. I feel extremely comfortable. I'm wearing this knit from Surplus. Quite a thick fabric for this time of year. We are coming into the evening. It's so relaxed and loose that there's a nice airflow around it, so I won't get too hot. I'm then wearing the Rahul Patel Collection pendant, which matches really nicely with the dial on the Datejust. Then for my trousers, full linen, Relia 1949. These trousers have served me very well. And then I've got the Mocha sandals on from Hermes. So that is this evening's look. And we're gonna head down. Thank you to the cameraman, doing wonderful work there. <laughs> and enjoy this evening's dinner, which is supposed to be quite a casual one, hence the look. Tomorrow, however, Michelin star after what's set to be an incredible day on the roads here. So stay tuned. Please. Thank you. I just want to have a look at this ice cube. Wow. You see? You happy with that? Yes. I'm going to get a focus. A very familiar badge. What have you got on yours? I'm trying to twist it the right way. It keeps twisting I can't see she's got too, too much seasoning on. <laughs> seasoning on it. She seasoned out the graphic. Thank you. Wow. What an incredible view for dinner. I'm so honest, I've choose this day when we were inside, didn't it? Yeah. I've got a list of names of every single wine. I've never seen this before. This is a carpaccio prawn dish, which apparently is a signature dish here at the Maybourne Hotel. And it's not left the menu since they opened. And I have to say, it does look very appetizing. Well, very conveniently situated just in front of the hotel. We have the DB12, the world's first Super Tourer. Unreal. This is the first look at the car on this trip. And tomorrow, we'll get to look inside her and drive it. Good morning. So today is the day that we're gonna be taking out the Aston Martin DB12. I didn't sleep very well last night because I think I was a little bit overexcited about today. It's gonna to be an incredible day. It's been hyped up a lot, but I've bumped into a few people ahead of today and everybody's just absolutely sung the day's praises because this isn't their first rodeo. They've been doing this now for a few weeks. So essentially, we're gonna be taking the drive up and we're going to be going to a lunchbot destination, which is actually a private home that's been taken over by Aston and we're gonna have some food there. I know that Chris and Elliot are going to be cooking for us. I actually met Chris at Epson with Aston Martin a few weeks ago, and he was showcasing me the kitchen that they're gonna be working from. Incredible what the guys can pull out from those spaces. So I'll hopefully get the opportunity to show you that whilst we're there. And also some of our other friends are friends with Elliot, an amazing chef, and so I know that we're gonna be spoiled rotten today. And the drive itself is going to be a variety of different styles of um, roads. So hopefully we'll get some really scenic stuff. There'll probably be a little bit of traffic at the start and then we'll open up and we'll have uh, lots of space to play around and get to grips with the new car. So it's gonna be an unreal day. The car is no DB I've seen before. I would say that it's a combination between the DBS and the DB11. They've like merged it together and it's just so much more aggressive than some of the previous DB models. 
so it's going to be a good day. Before we head out, as always, I'll share with you my outfits. So today's a full linen look. My shirt is from a company called Manaby. Trousers, again, really 1949, but today we have them in the beige. My espadrilles are from a company called Aradian. Very, very comfortable and they can get battered about a bit. I don't mind driving in these when you're in the Laura pianos. I'm a little bit more funny about um, scuffing them on the pedals. I've got Datejust, Dolce Gabbana sunglasses and my Tiger Stone necklace by Rahul Patel collection. So I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna hit the road and take a look at this brand new car. <laughs> We're <laughs> more cooling, more power in the engine, so the engine needs cooling for the 800 newton wheel torque, which you'll definitely be able to feel when you're on the road with that. Uh, a lot lower splitter, again, as Kenna says, you've got cooling, new radiator system, also brand new headlight with new LED technology in there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A very solid lineup of DB12s. So we've got the green, white, grey and red here today. God blimey. Looks absolutely epic. Well as you can see we're currently sitting in the DB12. Today we're going to be driving the grey. It's got a really beautiful finish to it, the paintwork, and inside we've got the navy interior, which is very subtle, it almost looks black. It's got a really nice undertone of blue to it that you can just see come through, particularly in the light. Also, I'm not sure what we picked up during the guy's talk, but we have the Bowers and Wilkins speakers in, which is a new addition to Aston Martin's cars. And also, most impressively, a brand new infotainment system here in the cabin with a touchscreen display as you can see again we've got the 360 degree cameras which are very convenient when you want to watch somebody taking a picture of a DV12 next to you <laughs> and um, lots of new gadgets one of the changes that they've actually made to the steering wheel from my car to these later models are they've actually attached the paddles to the steering wheel so on my vehicle when you're turning the paddles are still static but on here they're turning with you which means that you don't have to readjust your grip to change gears which is really helpful if you're coming out of a roundabout and you want to uh, go up or down a gear um, your paddles are always there with you wherever you're gripping so nice little uh, addition there there are hundreds of changes because the cabin has been transformed so much um, that we could probably talk for a very long time but we're going to hit the road we've got a coffee stop this morning and we're going to enjoy the roads of the french riviera let's go just to remind me we're on the left side of the road aren't we French house, I've not actually shown you this before. Just let Aston use it to have some coffees and pastries as well. Love the windows. See? Yeah, you have to use it. Yeah, it does. We've just finished off having our coffee and a couple of pastries, and we're just about to head now to our lunch spot, which this is going to be spectacular. So I'm looking forward to it. My reports on the drive so far, absolutely fantastic. The way in which the car sticks to the road is just incredible. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about it in a second because there's a reason why I think this is happening. But the guy's waiting for me to go, so I'll speak to you at lunch. After seven.
700 meters take the first exit at the roundabout. We've just quickly pulled over to enjoy the view down the valley. The car's been treating us very well. So you'll notice the silhouette of the back end, particularly from this side profile here, has got that nod to the DB11, which of course, the next gen DB12 makes absolute sense, but it's the front that really gives me that DBS energy. It's a little bit more of that predator stance, a bit more aggressive. I think it really plays into uh, the DBS with the bonnet and the way in which they have used those shapes and lines down into this mouthpiece. One of the uh, new innovative parts on the car is the headlights. You'll see just here they've got this texturized um, finish which actually helps with fraction which is basically the trajectory of the light. It means that the light bounces more evenly as it exits the headlight so some new technology going on into the headlights on the car also if we come around to the back of the vehicle you'll see that we have very big tires i'll come right around the back and those big chunky wheels have meant that the stability and the feel on the road you just feel like you're hugging the road and there is also some new technology in the tires there's a layer of foam and that foam is actually giving a noise cancellation effect which means that it's quieter whilst you're driving it but it also feels softer it's the only way i can describe it i really wasn't expecting much when they were telling us about this addition into the tires it just makes such a huge difference really enjoying driving it it's very comfortable as you would hope a grand tourer to be but don't be fooled this thing has got some serious power lunch stop destination Lovely drive, very relaxed. Got our feet up, haven't we, mate? It's not bad. Look at this, stunning. You have reached your destination. It's on your right. Hey, we've arrived. Lunchtime. Oh, look at this. Do you think she'll take you for drinks? Hiya, how you doing? You okay? Yeah, good, nice, to you. You. Nice, to you. nice to meet you, I'm Ali. Nice to meet you, I'm Lizzie, I'm on the event team. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, I'm in the high. Hi, I'm Ali, how you doing? You alright? No, I know. What's I this know all about? I know, do you like my display? It's amazing. Look at this. How's it going? That's one way to do the boot. Isn't it? Yeah. Liz would be all over that, especially with the old rustic steps next to it. You know, I've got a few talents, Ellie. Yeah, is this you, is it? Yeah, yeah. This is really lovely. <laughs> We're running a little bit late, everybody started, but this is lunch today. And the tablecloth. If Lydia was here, she would die. This is absolutely up her street. So we're going to sit down and try and catch up with everyone else. <laughs> Yeah, get a little race. Yeah, and Tom, there's a lot of bikes out today, isn't there? there are, yeah. yeah, Tom yeah. was having some fun with an Audi F3. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, he had to pull over in the end. Uh, so, uh, yes. Sir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're very British dessert. We flew in to very British chefs from the UK. So, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Chris Weber and Elliot Grover um, redesigned um, this wonderful menu out of a shack today. So, I'm um, hoping we'll be doing it. Yeah. How was it? Good? Amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. Thank you. I think so. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Favourite dish? Those are kind of pays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Probably not that part of the mountains. This is a good shot. No, because that gets the speaker reflection in. Oh, look at that. We are just about to drive on the road that featured in one of the James Bond films. I'll give you a little clean up. That's a little bit better. And it is absolutely stunning here. Look at this. Hello, there he is. Hello, Bond. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Wow, wow, now we're talking, come on. That's stunning. Yes, this is unreal. Unreal, what a spot. We're gonna be. Some of you may recognize this famous Ben from GoldenEye. James is currently having a moment behind the wheel. He's thoroughly enjoying himself and I thought I would take the opportunity to talk to you a little bit more about the car. So, firstly, I know that this isn't a new addition to the DB12. They've had this on previous models, but the air-cooled ventilation in the seats, particularly today, has been game-changing. I do enjoy that function in vehicles. It's a nice way, oh yeah, you've got a stag too. <laughs> It's a really nice way to cool yourself down and um, I'm currently just enjoying it so I thought that needs a mention. But if I spin you around you'll see that Aston have got the brand new infotainment system in the middle so I think I might have shown you from my Epson vlog um, they had a car there that we got to see this setup. So if you did see that video, you'll be familiar with this now, but it is a completely new configuration and everything's touchscreen. So you've got a fully touchscreen display happening up here, which you can see we're currently using the inbuilt sat nav. There is a home function on here as well, which I don't want to go through just at the moment whilst James is using the sat nav, um, but that will take you to lots of other functions on the vehicle. CarPlay. Um, which I particularly enjoy CarPlay, then all of that is now in the Aston Martin. Now, when we come out of the tunnel, I'll be able to show you the centre console, and you'll see that we now have this lever here, and this is the lever that you use to change between reverse, neutral, and drive. And then this little toggle you can see here is the toggle that's used to switch between Sport, Sport Plus, and Grand Tourer, there's a couple of other modes that you can actually set the car up in as well, which is really cool. They've also added in these new switches that you can see. I, I was told earlier, actually, I asked the name of these switches and I have already forgotten. But the detailing on them, the ribbon, there's a, a particular name for that. And they've obviously finished it in this detail. We then have the carbon fibre surround, which is really lovely. Of course, you can drive the car in manual using the paddles so we're just currently going through a tunnel which is very raw and rustic doesn't it just looks like they've like drilled through and left it as it is it's amazing oh that is a not a great place to park i think what we're going to do now once we've got through these very tight windy boat boats <laughs> nearly said it and I stopped myself. Windy Roads is we're going to blast the music and check out this sound system um, but obviously for copyright reasons I won't be doing it on the vlog. <laughs> so a little look in the back this is of course a four-seater. Two nice and small people can fit in the back there. We've got the huge speaker in the centre column and then you'll see that there's a continuation of the suede and leather detailing. I love the quilted leather on the seats. You can see with the perforated holes where we're being cooled down and then we've got the leather all around the outside of the sport seats. They've continued it through here as well. Onto the centre compartment, which has currently got a phone in actually, and a spare key, which is giving us our sat nav, I believe, instructions, because of course this is all very well planned out by the Aston Martin team. Then got a drinks holder, which is in here. Uh, this is really convenient because different size cups and all. And I've just noticed the roof also has got that suede and leather detailing. However, they've mixed it up. So they've put the pattern on the leather and the suede as the border, 
which is the opposite to what they've done on the seats. Nice little bit of detail. Hey there. We are just making our way down to dinner tonight. We're eating at Cito, which is a Michelin star restaurant here at the Maybourne Hotel. And Ollie Smith is doing the wine. And so let me tell you, we're gonna be in for a treat because that guy does not miss. <laughs> kind of a connection to our brand which um, which is something that we're very very passionate about and having those relationships with people because we think that we've got a great story to tell at the moment you know we're really really excited about our brand and we want um, we want to kind of share it with the world so thank you for coming here and spreading the word I've always believed you use the word connections actually and I've always believed that wine is about making connections it's about making connections between where the wine comes from, the place it's made, the people behind it. But actually, in a broader sense, it's about what's happening right now. It's about all of us individually finding the flavors that we really love, sharing them together, and individually reveling in that sense of wider context of this with what's going on right now at the table. So I came into wine by actually working in a wine shop. When I was 16, I was delivering wine boxes. And if you had told me back then it would lead to this, I would never in a million years have believed you. But what I can say with certainty about wine is it has opened an incredible number of doors here. So the people I've met and the places I've been have been phenomenal. Now notably, we're going to start with the glass of Sancerre, which was Roger Moore's favourite glass of wine. And for those of you too young to know who Roger Moore is, he played the role of James Bond when I was a kid growing up. He was suave, he was sophisticated, but more than that, he was an absolutely adorable human being. I had the pleasure of meeting him, we became great friends, and yesterday when we drove 12 DB12s through Casino Square, I did shed a small tear behind my sunglasses because we drove past the place where I first met his Roger Steer, as I call him, in the Hotel de Paris, and then the last place I had lunch with him, which was in the Café de Paris. But every time I see Sancerre on the menu, I raise a glass to him. He loved traveling in the region, he loved the freshness of it, and he was an absolute connoisseur. The thing I will say that is most cool about him, he's so down to work. He was Hollywood, he was a big star, but all he wanted to know about was who you really are. He wanted to do great things for as many people around the world as he possibly could, and for that, I'll always be his biggest fan. So our first one this evening is Domaine Vacheron, Sancerre, Les Romains. Now, Les Romains is their oldest classic of Sancerre, uh, vines in Sancerre. Sauvignon Blanc is the great variety. The family had been doing this. Maurice actually planted it 120 years ago. And I wanted so badly for it to be 110 years to celebrate the anniversary of Aston Martin. And I could have just said it was 110, but I'm too honest. But it's close enough, I feel. But it blows my mind when you think of the heritage of these things. What's happened at Aston Martin, what's happened in this vineyard. Today, his great-grandchildren, Jean, uh, Jean Dominique and Jean Laurent, make the wine. Uh, this particular parcel is one of their oldest sections. It comes from a very flinty soil on a little hill. So in Sancerre, generally, you get purity. It's like a lightning strike of citrus fruit in your, in your, in your kind of palace. It's an sort of enliver. This has something else. It has a small smokiness, and that's entirely down to that soil. I could wish to run forever. It's organic, it's biodynamic, it's been beautifully created in age for you, but most of all, it's designed to make us happy. So this evening, I dedicate my glass to connections with Aston Martin and the DB12, but most of all, to connections with one another. I'm so pleased to see you all. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Good morning. You may be able to hear that I have a slight raspy voice this morning, and that is because we went out last night and we didn't come back until the early hours. And so it was a fantastic way to end the trip. I have to say, everybody had such a great time together that we ended up staying up incredibly late but I don't actually think that I had the opportunity to chat to you after yesterday's drive so we finished our drive off around the French Riviera in the DB12 and wow what a car the way in which it sticks to the ground the 
noise and the feel have just been absolutely elevated. It's so much quieter, it feels like it has so much more stability on the road and the only way I can describe it as a feeling is it just feels super soft and I do think that they've worked really hard in both the aerodynamic but also in the technology and the change that they've made with the wheels, the width, um, the foam that's inside that tyre and I'm sure that there are many other areas of the car that are way above my pay packet um, to understand or know anything about but I was speaking to Julian who was part of the design team yesterday and it's fascinating learning about the processes that they go through to achieve the end result, the end product um, and they have done um, a lot of changes on this car. Obviously you saw yesterday that the cabin was just completely transformed. They've obviously changed and played around with the silhouette of the car, which in itself has such huge implications when you do this, um, because I think an easy way to describe it is, is when you change one component, it means that you have to change another five components to accommodate for that change. It may just be something as simple as a difference in the headlight shape and all of a sudden you're completely changing the whole structure and design of the internals or the gubbings of that light fitting so it's um, it was really interesting to chat to the guys and of course an absolute privilege to drive around in the new car so thank you Aston for inviting me on this wonderful trip it's another beautiful day here uh, I keep wanting to say Monaco we're not in Monaco I can see Monaco uh, we've had a beautiful day here in the French Riviera um, my friends have just arrived at the hotel, so I'm going to go down and have coffee with them. And then this evening, I'm going to be heading back. Lydia's actually currently away as well in Ireland. So we're both coming back this evening, so it'd be nice to catch up with her, hear about what she's been getting up to, and also see the pups and Lumi. Because I'm not sure if I mentioned, but just before we left, um, Lumi, we actually had to rush her to the vets because Lumi's either jumped off something too high and like sprained her leg or hurt her foot, or well she's been chasing animals um, so we're not sure which but they don't believe she's been hit by a car but she's limping around bless her a lot so she's on some medication I think it's Metacan that she takes and she absolutely love it it's like crack to Lumi so anyway I'm rambling on I hope you all enjoyed this video and seeing the brand new DB12 and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 5 p.m. have a great rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you then Thank you.